So basically this weekend, I I had some boxes lying around of some small engine stuff that I'd taken apart in the fall. And uh, so I finally got around to listing this stuff and I photographed it, I listed it all this weekend and then it sold right away. Not all of it, of course, I have a lot more listings than this, but these things sold right away and it's good. So this is an auger blade from a snowblower. This is the left hand blade. So if you're going to be listing these, there is a left hand and a right hand side. And this one here is from a craftsman, uh, Sears craftsman. And it actually says right there, if you can barely see it, it says LH on it. So you, that, that's how you can tell this is the left hand side. If not, you have to go by pictures and, and or just try to remember which side you take it from and you, it, when you remove it from the snowblower. Um, yeah, so this guy here, uh, this is, I have another one like it. I have the right hand side still that's that's up there, but this one sold uh, $71.95 and $24.94 for shipping, $10 sales tax, $10.77 sales tax. This is going to Quebec. So the reason why it's an odd number, $71.95, is because I have a, um, a sale going on in my store right now. I made the sale when I started charging sales tax. So I have a 10% sale just to kind of compensate for the for me introducing the sales tax to all of my items. So I did a bulk uh, a bulk editing for all all my 2000 listings and so I just did a store-wide 10% discount. So that is a good little sale. Now I sold right away so all this stuff sold right away so I'm starting to feel that I could have charged a lot more than what I than what I did for these items but you know, I'm, I didn't pay any money for this, so it's all good. I, I just wish, uh, I, sometimes I feel like maybe I could have made a little bit more money, but um, hey, you know, I'm getting, I'm making money, so it's all good, and they're, the customer's getting a good deal. And over here, this is from that same snowblower. This is a gearbox, so the auger blades go right onto it, and there's a shear pin there, and this two shear pins onto the shaft. You can see how it moves like that. And this is gearbox transmission. These things are, are uh, I guess, discontinued, so you can't really find them anymore. From basically anything, Sears, Craftsman is all going to be discontinued, or you'll have to, uh, I think Husqvarna took over the brand, and AYP, uh, Poulin, a couple other brands all make these kinds of parts. But... Um, Anyways, um, this guy sold here for $134.95, shipping $25, sales tax $20. And that's going to PEI, Prince Edward Island. Yeah, so there we go. Nice little sale on that. Over here is, uh, this is an engine from a lawn boy lawnmower. This is a vintage one. This is from the 1960s. And I bought this lawnmower... Uh, it's going back a few years. <laughs> I was going back at least a couple years. I went to an auction. I bought this, and the, I remember specifically them saying that it works. They just probably needs to clean out the carb, and uh, but it definitely works. And so that's what I went on. Uh, but I had it here at my house. It's been sitting around outside. I had it all covered up, and I was just really didn't know what to do with it. So I finally this fall I got around. And I just took the whole thing apart. And I brought all the stuff into my basement, and it sat around for another couple, another couple months. I finally listed it this weekend, and it sold. <laughs> so that's the story on that. But it pulls; it uh, it's not seized or anything. has a uh, has the pull cord over here on the other side. It says Iron Horse on it. It's 1960s. Nice little thing. It's actually cracked in a couple spots. You can see it right there. This is like. Uh, I tried to see if this uh, had a replacement plate, but it doesn't. But see, it's cracked there. It's cracked right there. The previous owner did some uh, did some chart repair work on it. Anyway, sold it. Uh, let's see here. Where's my sheet? Sheet fell down there. Yeah. So eighty nine ninety five. Sold it for eighty nine ninety five. Uh, Twenty eight for the shipping. Eleven six nine for the sales tax. That's going to that's going to Ontario, and that $89.95, I listed it for $100, and with the 10%, it went down to $89. $90 sale for an old lawnmower engine. This is a C, what is it, C19 engine. 
Coming down here is the floor. Um, this is another Lawn Boy, but a different machine. Um, this machine here is from the late 90s, and I didn't really sell too much off of this one, uh, but these are two that I, that I did uh, list, and it sold practically right away. So this is a whole tire set down in this box, um, and it's a, a belt-driven lawnmower. So the back wheels are belt driven by the engine. Um, so it has a whole bunch of different parts here. I just put all the wheels and all these, all the components, like a whole bunch of bushings and cog wheels and washers. There's the bolts, some plastic caps, and these are the uh, uh, bearings for the back wheels, I think. Anyways, I put it all in one big lot. And the wheels themselves too and it sold it sold within an hour of me listing it so i definitely could have listed it for more but i sold it for 54.95 20 dollars for shipping seven dollars sales tax grand total 82.57 and that's going to ontario so yeah like i said could have listed it for more but what are you going to do and this is from the same lawnmower, and that's just the engine shroud, or uh, yeah, engine shroud with the with the pull cord on it. It's one complete assembly because it's riveted on there. Works fine. Sold that right away as well for forty bucks, thirty nine ninety five, sixteen fifty for shipping, five nineteen sales tax, sixty one sixty four total. That's going to Ontario. Wait a minute. Kitchener. Kitchener. Oh, it's going to the same guy. I didn't even realize it. It's going to the same person. He bought both. All right. <laughs> well, that's good to know. This is our cat, Blueberry. She's very nice. The kids made her these little boxes for all our cats. Right here on my shelving. <laughs> my uh, shelving that I use for shipping supplies and everything. One of it is dedicated to cats. There, I have some more shipping supplies here, and all of my boxes up here. Early March, beautiful day, and it's really nice out. I love it. Spring is just around the corner. Hopefully, it's going to be an early spring, guys. Hopefully. So, I'm dealing with a bunch of scrap in my truck right now. This giant ACR, it's a big boy. Very big. This thing here is probably like, I don't know, three feet by three feet. Some copper hanging off it. There's some. Uh, there's a lot of copper on the underside too. It's actually sitting on a screw to a piece of plywood. Uh, so I'm going to take that apart. Have furnace and some other scrap back here. Nothing fancy. Just loose little piece pieces back here. I think there was uh, some copper though. I gotta look through that before I go to the scrap yard. I want to do a scrap run today for sure. I want to get this all out of my truck because uh, there's some things I want to pick up. I'm doing a bathroom renovation right now. I want to go pick up some. Uh, Hopefully pick up a vanity and a toilet soon. Uh, yeah, so I want to take this guy apart. Ah, I want to take that apart. Some scrap here. They gave me this uh, fancy heat pump thing the other day. And that's got some copper all in it. Here's the other part to it. It's got some brass pieces on here and some copper. So I'm going to take all these pe all these zip ties off and just try and clean this up as best I can get get whatever copper I can get out of this thing and right now my copper number one bucket is looking pretty good number two not so much but got some pieces there to bring in so I'll bring that in as well along with all this shred let's we'll see how what I can get for it all in this bucket here I think it's just uh, more loose pieces of tin They'll just start to take up all these little screws. There we have a better look at it. There are two really big rads, some nice copper in there. So uh, I like this because it's only two pieces wide, two pipes wide. You can tell with the noodles, there's only two two part, two part, pipes in the with a the noodle there. So that's easy to cut off. Once you get into like three and four, like really, really thick rads, they're bit harder to take apart but you get more money for it but uh, these are easy to deal with here we go I just finished uh, filling up the truck a little bit and I cleaned up some of this scrap that thing was full of all this copper and brass so there's quite a bit of it 
um, nice little pieces, a lot of stuff that it will be hard to clean up, you know, like this thing here. Uh, has, you know, he's just cut it there, but then it has this solenoid thing on it, which is hard to take off. So I'll deal with that later. I got a bunch of pieces there. Looks like these things are stainless steel. There's another one there. And uh, eh, it, it goes fast with this tool that I have. But uh, that's uh, that's all pretty much number two, except for maybe a couple pieces here. This stuff is full of oil too. Just oil over, it had a lot of oil in it, spilled out of my tailgate. Um, so yeah, bring in the number one today and that's it along with uh, this compressor this compressor was in there too um, yeah oh, oil everywhere you know I do my best to try and clean this this up but you can't avoid it it shares the big rads I did take that apart these are pretty hefty good size good weight they're actually really really sharp too I don't know it's a different kind of rad these are just sharper than I'm uh, used to maybe my fingers are just soft from uh, <laughs> being on the computer all winter all right, let's get her done. I'll show you how much I make at scrapyard. There we have it. Truck is empty. I'm back home. Let's take a look at what the receipt says here. So, that one compressor, the electric, paid electric motor for it, uh, ten cents a pound, seven dollars and seventy cents. Uh, copper number one. They're paying out two dollars and thirty cents a pound, fifty-seven fifty. Yellow brass, uh, ten dollars and forty cents copper so I did bring in the brass and the copper too. Copper too is pretty low uh, two dollars a pound so 24 bucks for the copper too it's still pretty good uh, and then I'm getting 120 a metric ton for a shred and so that's pretty high so I'm getting like a good bonus from this scrapyard because um, I'm a frequent frequent flyer there uh, so it's 31 dollars 56 cents grand total 131 that's pretty good I'm happy with that so today I won another storage locker. I'm on my way over there now to go pick it up. Hopefully I can clean it all out in one truck load. I didn't bring my trailer because it's still frozen in the ice. So it's just the truck. May have to do another trip tomorrow. We'll see. And uh, anyways, I bought this locker for 70 bucks. And I think that's a good deal because lately the lockers have just been going very, very high. I was bidding on another one this morning. And that one went for uh, 320, or sorry, 350 plus tax. And uh, you know, at that at that price, there's just not a lot of meat left on the bone so to make a profit from it all. So you know, you just, but you never know what's in the locker. So it's it's tempting to go higher. But uh, I remember one not too long ago. Uh, it looked like a whole bunch of sewing machines, and that one went up to over 700 dollars. I just can't understand that. I think it's uh, it's definitely gained a lot of popularity. So there's a lot of people you know bidding on these things right now. Um, but yeah, it's seven hundred dollars. Wow, you got you really have to work hard to make your money back, unless you know it's a person that has a sewing machine business. But anyways, so I'm here with uh, my little man here, Parker. Hi. Hello. We're just having a little snack of yep. oranges before yep. our big locker clean out. And we're gonna go head over there now. We'll be there in about 10 minutes and we'll see what we can find. Super here comes Parker. <laughs> All right guys, it's really not a lot to show you in here because it's so dark and uh, especially where my locker is down here. And plus there's uh, this ventilation system right there. And so it's super loud, but I'll turn on my flashlight a little bit, get a little peek, see what's going on. thing right here. This is the locker. Wow. Super, super dark in here. But as you can see, it's just piled up all the way, boxes all the way back there. So definitely two trips. Right down in there, I can see a filter queen, filter queen vacuum cleaner right down in there. Uh, microwave. So gonna be lots of interesting things in here, I hope. Hopefully, we'll see what's going on. Some tools. There's a chest right there, CD racks, and just boxes of stuff, which I love. Alrighty, so we're gonna start loading up. Just have a little trolley, my helper. Hi. And uh, <laughs> yeah, see how far we get today. Alright, we're making good progress. Got this dresser up here, it's pretty light, and uh, 
inside here just uh, some audio equipment the five disc CD changer I always sell those for a couple bucks um, everything seems to be no bad smells or anything which is really good sign this air conditioner here is full of dust so um, everything's pretty dusty but at least there's no bad smells got a Kenmore sewing machine uh, some attachments for a bristle vacuum cleaner Parker just dropped some movies and a couple toolboxes nothing special but this one actually has a lock on it so we're pretty curious about what's in there I'm not sure what's in here yet I don't think it's the it could just be the humidifier let's take a quick look uh, just towels lots of towels that's that's good I like towels for rags and stuff like towels. <laughs> yeah, well, we can never have enough towels, I think. Yeah. All right, let's go get the rest of the stuff. We're making good progress. Hey, Parker. Hi. We made it. We fell asleep on the way home. <laughs> we did a lot of work. But come on, Parker, we're going to go open up that box. Yeah. Mystery box. Okay, what? Spencer, you got the bolt cutters? Yep. What's Try inside? What's inside the mystery box? Get it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it on there like that and then push down. You can do it. Put, put it on a little bit more, put the handle on okay, okay. the bench. It's going. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's going, it's still going. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. You did it. Finally. You ready? Fin inside? Finally. <laughs> Three, two, one. Open. Oh, oh wait, no, right. yeah. Oh, oh. Is it? Is it? I think I bent. Oh, you think you bent? Oh, okay. Yeah, get the pliers and. Uh, <laughs> no, the uh, yeah the. No, no, no. It's just the. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. Three, two, one. Coins. 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 Coins! Oh. I knew it was money. Dab. I know money when I hear money. Cool. Open it, open it. Let's see. Coins? More coins. More coins. Oh, what's that? Is that nice. a little flask? I don't know. No, it might be I think it's just uh it's oh, just coins. one of those sets. It's coins. Mm -hmm. Mid sets. Cool. <laughs> and this is all quarters. 1999. It's like a quarter set. And what is this? Wow. Uh, that is silver coin cleaner. Cool. Okay. That's uh that's good. Okay. Another coin set there. Coin set there. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah, Ocean Giants. Cool. Just a, it's a quarter, I believe. It's not silver. Oh, yeah, 1998 sterling silver, 50 cent coin. 50 cents, cool. 50 cents. We're having so much 50 cents. Yeah, what's in, can you open that up, honey? Sure. I think it's like, this is like a cross from the world. Awesome. Celebrate the year 2000. What if there's like a plate of gold in there? Gold, solid gold coin. Solid gold stamp. <laughs> Some stamps. Stamp. Are there gold. stamps? Stamps. Okay. Yeah. Stamps are okay. Yeah. See? Oh yeah, just one big stamp right there. Cool. 95 cents. Alright. Wow. That's pretty heavy. There's a yeah. lot of weight there. But uh, looks like we got a lot of just random coins. Cool. Look at all that, honey. We found some coins. Wow. Cool. That's a lot of coins. Yeah, we got a little bit of liquor. Uh, this guy here, dry gin. It's not it hasn't been opened. It's very old. Um, but this stuff doesn't go bad, right? <laughs> uh, white rum. A little bit of vodka. Uh, fine brandy. It's quite a bit there. Tequila. Peppermint schnapps. And then here's the stuff that we're going to keep. A little bit of Kalula in that one. There's just a little bit there. And that is pretty much full. Kalula. And a sealed Baileys. So we'll keep those three because we like that. But throw out uh, well there's a friend that I have that usually that took my last batch of liquor. I'll just give it to him again. 
and uh, he, you know, it's reciprocal relationship, so we give and take all the time. Yeah, okay, I got a nice block here with all the knives. They're pretty nice. Last one's actually broken, but there's some other nicer ones in there. So that can go to flea market for a couple bucks. And two practically brand new frying pans that we'll keep in use. Sewing machine, that's I'm gonna throw that out. And uh, more glasses and stuff down in there. Uh, this is like some Sens merchandise, some hockey stuff. So, like two or legs, and I, there's actually a watch in there, a center's watch. So, some stuff that we can go through. There was lots of VHS in this locker, unfortunately, that stuff's kind of a pain to get rid of. There's these three boxes are VHS, and there's more at at the locker still. And I also found this in the locker. It's a snow pusher thing, so it's not it's a snow blower, but <laughs> I don't, you can't really call it a snow blower. It's more of a, just a pusher. So again, you know, that's going to be a, a few bucks at the flea market, probably like 10 or 15. So far, so good. And I'm going to finish unloading the truck and get ready for another load tomorrow. It's the next day, and uh, we actually did two more truck loads after, since that last clip that I took. So I got my boys out here helping me right now, and we're going through this box right here. Um, what do we got here, guys? Let's take a look. It's a jewelry. Look at that. Look at that, Parker. It's a shiny spider. I don't like spiders. No, we, had, we nobody likes spiders. But let's see what we got here. Go in the shadow. Lots of jewelry. Wow. What do you got there, Spencer? Anything gold? Think there's some gold in here? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think I think there might be. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I can now try to see the. What it says here on this one, I don't see any stamp. Usually what you can see on the inside of the ring will say 10 carat or 14 carat or something. Some sort of stamp on it. Anyways, lots of shiny. Yep. Lots of shiny. Uh, anyways, my camera is telling me low battery, so I'll just show you real quick. Uh, there's that little thing there, but... Basically, I just filled up the entire, my whole thing here. So, 1%. Went from 89% to 1%, the silly GoPro. My whole my whole bench is just full of stuff. I got all these boxes here I have to go through. And all these boxes back here. So, we got a lot to go through. I guess I'll just go th unpack everything and we'll show you all the good stuff at the very end. I think that's going to be the plan. There is one cool thing here that I, that I found. It's a Game Boy with the box. It is a limited edition light blue and a Game Boy Pocket limited, limited edition. Comes with three games. We have Super RC, uh, Super RC AM, RC Pro AM. Um, this other one here, I can't see it. Some sort of flying game, solar something, and Pac-Man. The batteries inside are exploded, um, so I'm going to have to find some new contacts. Um, I'm sure I can find them on eBay, no problem. Anyways, uh, this sells very well because it's a limited edition blue. Um, I saw the box actually sold for quite a bit. Uh, $200, <laughs> believe it or not, just the box. I thought that was ridiculous. Um, looks like it comes with all the insides in there too. Um, yeah, so I got the Game Boy and the, and the box. So that's that's awesome. That's going to pay for the whole locker. Just that. Okay, so I'm going to get into the good stuff now. Um, you guys remember seeing this box in an earlier clip? It was it's really good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, first off, this guy here. It's a nice little spider. Um, crystal spider. It's by. Uh, there's a stamp on the bottom here. It says Ivana. I looked it up, and it's Ivana Trump's line. Um, it's vintage. I'm guessing sometime in the 90s. Don't see any comparables online, uh, except for a couple that were selling at around 50 bucks. So I think I could do that. I think I could get around $50. It's actually really nice. <laughs> and this here is sterling silver with a pin on the back. It's nice. 
Uh, all right, so some other stuff in here, some pins, some little bit of costume jewelry, and this nice brochet. Pin, I think. Now yeah, this bag here, so I already went through it all. But I mean, look at that. It's heavy. <laughs> this is just incredible. All right, just gonna dump it all out. Uh, these hoop earrings were actually in this box here. It says 14 karat gold earring. And there's price tag on it. 500 bucks. And everything else I found in these little baggies. So I didn't add any baggies here. They're already in it. So there's a whole bunch of these little earrings. Like that. Uh, some chains in the bags. Little hoop earrings there. More chains. More chains. Uh, these chains here. So I didn't really open these up yet or and look at them. There's some earrings. More earrings there. Showed you those already. And then I added this baggie. There was just a whole bunch of loose little pieces. A bunch of loose little pieces floating around. So I had to put them all in this little baggie. There's one piece here. I'm not too sure if it's gold or not. I'm not too sure. It's like an eagle. Not sure if that's gold. But anyways. And there's all that. That's just a lot of gold. So, um, some of these have stones. And I don't know anything about stones. So if you guys know anything about what I should do with this, please let me know in the comments. Because I'm, uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. So there's some diamonds in those two. And there's a diamond in this one. Um, I think that was about it. There was actually, there was one other ring and we're actually keeping it. My wife wants to keep it. Uh, it was a really nice gold ring as well. So uh, that one's missing a stone. And, and you just got all these chains and there's uh one with the cross and I've looked at pretty much all of these and I have been able to find the the stamp on the on the coupling here on the linkage I'm using my phone to uh, to find this the stamp to look at the stamp Let's see if I can focus the, in on that but oops So you can see there it says 10k. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I've been doing with this. Is just using my phone camera because uh, I don't have a magnifying glass. But yeah, that's heavy. Uh, this piece here, it has just just the metal clasp here. That's steel. It's a stick to the magnet. Everything else has a a stamp on it. I forget where it was, but I think it's 10 10k. Um, this one here is 14 as a stamp on the ring as clear as day some of them don't have it it's pretty hard to see yeah 14 uh, so yeah they're pretty much all like 10 and 14 i think i saw 118 carat piece uh, anyways wow <laughs> this is just incredible that's just a heck of a lot of gold just, this is just a food scale so it's not very accurate but it's all i have right now this one here it's like a medical bracelet not sure if this actual plating is uh, is gold. It's not magnetic. Could be something else, but uh, we'll just go with it. There's the cross one and a couple other pieces there. This one's really heavy. Whole bunch of rings. Oops. All right, we just went over 100. So I'm weighing it with the bags, you know? So this is just a this is just a rough guess. I just went onto one of those internet sites there for the gold calculations and I did it and I rounded down to 110, 110 grams because there's lots of bags and there's some other attachments and stuff. So so let's say for argument's sake it's 110 grams of gold and I did a 10 karat 
gold, even though there is some 14 and 18 carats in here. So just did that while wow, gold prices are crazy right now. So the, in scrap uh, gold value, it is $3,692. Uh, in US dollars, that is $2,707. Wow, that is crazy. That is crazy. Well, I am a happy camper. <laughs> if I don't get anything else out of this locker, this pile of gold is worth it. Just modern day treasure. Modern day treasure hunting. Wow. Okay. Well, please, guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you think I should do. Okay. Because right now I'm thinking that maybe I should go to a um, to a jeweler and. Maybe I should go to a jeweler and have uh, all these thing, things these things appraised, you know? See, cause there's stones in these, so maybe these stones are worth something. And I could get them removed and then just do straight melt value. I don't know. I don't know. So let me know in the comment section below what you think I should do. All right? Appreciate it. Here we go. Gold. My new favorite thing. <laughs> you see all these boxes here. I did three trips to the storage locker there and back with my truck eight foot box just completely full and there were just so many boxes and i'd say 90 percent of these boxes were full of just junk just absolute junk i'm talking about like old tupperware and everything was just stained and old and dirty luckily it wasn't smelly but it was really nasty but yeah like tupperware christmas books old documents bills uh, pff, dishes, lots of dishes, VHS, some CDs, uh, just, you know, uh, kitchen utensils, bathroom stuff, just a lot of junk. Um, this, so yeah, most of this is just empty boxes. There are some boxes with dishes that I still have to find something to do with that. Um, these, got one, two, three, four boxes here, and they're just full of CDs. Just, and... You know, I, I'll have to take a closer look at them, but you know, it's a lot. This person's taste uh, is not quite um, mainstream, so I'll have to take a closer look at this. And so, there's just four bins here of just loose scrap steel stuff that I'll bring to the scrapyard. Um, yeah, that's a, half of a tent. This is all garbage bags that I've done so far. There's uh, uh, four five six and there's another in the shed so that's seven bags a bunch of photo albums that look like they were in a flood just documents and so yeah this is all garbage here that i have to throw out um dishes you know stuffies i don't know what's in here mostly just christmas stuff in there that's full of documents and old books oh boy so i mean uh it's it went well but now i just have a giant mess to clean up um there are some few knickknacks you know we got some old vintage cards that i can sell there's a, a coin it's just a quarter um, yeah knickknacks we got pepsi coin uh, organizer so this is just a lot of you know five dollar or less items you know, this here, I'm not sure if that's soapstone. I don't think it is. I think that's just, but it's stone carving. So, you know, it's worth something. Um, that's chipped. Some old, some rocks, you know. So I can sell this stuff at the flea market for a couple bucks. Well, I actually haven't finished going through this one here, but it looks like all Christmas stuff. Some drill, drill bits, I'll keep those. I did find three SNES games, but no console. Super Mario, NHL, PA Hockey, and Jeopardy. Uh, Coleman stove in the box. That's a couple bucks. Uh, I think it's just all, yeah, it's just all stationary stuff in here. Some paper and whatnot, so I can use some of that. Um, this one's kind of interesting, so I found some more booze, and they're all just the little hotel bar fridge types. So, a whole bunch of them. Some of them that I've never heard of before. Here's all the liquor I pulled out of that locker. Oh, 
Look at that little guy. Isn't that cute? Little Crown Royal. Blue product of Austria. Found some knives. Um, other little knickknacks, you know. Um, little tins. Uh, what else? This is of like a vintage uh, tire gauge. It's all steel. I thought it was pretty nice. It may be worth something. I'll have to look it up. Little screwdrivers. These, little, these, these ones. Some of them I have had quite a bit of luck uh, selling online as vintage uh, hand tool. And I've sold ones like this with the wood handle before, you know, for like 20 or 30 bucks. A bunch of little lighters. And uh, this one here is like a cigarette lighter. Goes like that. It's like in the shape of a little cigarette. And this one here is the uh, disappearing bikini type. And these are quite popular. I think that's the Zippo. It doesn't say. It doesn't say if that's the original Zippo on the bottom, but it's still. I'm, I'm thinking you probably saw it for about 15 bucks. I've had people at my flea market ask me about the pens. You know, the pens where the the bathing suit disappears. People are always looking for stuff like that. Some of the of the uh, glassware that I found was actually kind of nice. Like this piece right here is actually really nice looking. Um, I don't know. Uh, anything about crystal for all i know it can be a very valuable piece so i'll have to uh, do some research and on that one right there so that's going to be it for this video uh, i'm going to sign off here and get to work smashing up all these boxes and and cleaning up the uh, my driveway so i can actually drive through here once again <laughs> anyways if you like the content if you like the video please make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos to come in the near future and uh that is it so thanks for watching have a good one